play for London Irish RFC and I play fly half. The set piece calls comes from you, uh, what the team plays are, uh, yep. first phase and uh, sometimes even second and third. So uh, it, is, uh, it is quite a important position. You're the first man uh, to get the ball when it comes out of the ruck. Uh, so you kind of, decision making is pretty key and you want to give uh, these cricket lads outside you maybe a, a, a bit more free range to give, have a run with the ball. Well, I'll get up about half eight, have a most probably a protein breakfast, most probably a bit of eggs, uh, maybe an omelette or something. And then uh, coming into training, usually be a bit of weights before, most probably about nine, between nine and 10, you usually do a bit of weights and come out, maybe do a bit of kicking, uh, some out of hand stuff, some restarts, um, then go in, a bit of analysis on the game on the Saturday, uh, try and look at the teams, that what you're playing against, their defences, uh, who's weak, who's strong, what they do in blitzing, uh, jam defence or whatever, and then try and, uh, Go and speak to, to Mike Cat and Toby Ruth and try and see if if their ideas match with yours. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> you, might have, you might have to take a backward step. But and then uh, then we've got rugby in the afternoon usually where we go for our plays that, that we want to take in for the weekend. Uh, then a bit of recovery and then back home. You usually go Monday, Tuesday. Uh, you'll have a day off in the week. Depends if it's a Sunday or a Saturday game. Uh, three days before the game, you have a day off. So if it's on a Saturday, it'd be Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, and then Thursday, you're in again. And then Friday, just be a team one, which is real light. Uh, like a real light kind of go through the team with the team and just see, uh, finalise our plays. And then you're into the game on Saturday. I mean, you get used to it after a few years. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you kind of, you got to make sure that the strategy when you're going into the, uh, the game plan of what uh, what you're going into the game, you, you, you're really set on it, you know what you're doing, you know what your calls are in certain areas of the pitch. Uh, and you've got to make sure that uh, obviously your kicking uh, is, is spot on. So it does, uh, it, that, that mainly wins games and loses games. We got, luckily we've got quite a lot of goal kickers here in London Irish as well, so I'm sure if uh, I'm having a bad day, the lads don't mind uh, giving me a bit of heckling to take, off, take it off my hands. Yeah, I think, as I said, I think kicking, I think Johnny summed up really well. Johnny Wilkinson, when he used to say, every kick's the same, it's just in a different area. And I think if uh, if you know that you, you, you trust your technique, you trust what you, you can kick the ball straight, because it's just generally just a straight kick every time, really. Uh, it's just a different angle of the kick. If you know you, you trust your technique and, and you hit the ball straight, then then you're, you should go into a lot of confidence into a game. We want to be top four. Uh, we want to get into the playoffs. Uh, I think that's a minimum requirement for a club of this uh, club of this calibre. Uh, and if we can get, we want to get out of the group stage. That's the that's the short-term goals of the Heineken Cup. We want to get out of the group stages. We've got a very tough tough pool with Munster, Ospreys, and uh, and Toulon. Some fantastic sides in there. Cheers, there. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be tough. But we were uh, we if we can get out of that, then uh, we're going to start setting our mind on on different goals. But that's our short-term yeah. goals. So the basic goal kicking techniques are, with my kicking tee, I have two little arrows facing the post. So I try and have that, dissect the middle of the post. After that, the inner tube, usually have a, a little tube coming out here. You'd put that facing the post with the seam, with the, in line with the arrows on the tee, going straight in between the middle of the post. What I'll do then, I'll look back, make sure it's lined up to my, to my liking. Now what I'll do is measure my run up. So on a 45 degree, usually with the other side of the seam of the ball, I'll take three steps back. I'll look where my contact, where I want to hit the ball, which is usually, which is usually around this place. Three steps back then, keeping the eye on the contact point. After I'd one deep breath, look where I want to kick it. It's quite hard because there's sky there at the moment but usually there'll be some seats or someone there that I'll be able to see and I'll just look at there, don't look at the, really look at the post. Look past where you're kicking. Now I'll look at it again, repeat the process twice. As I come in, you take one little step, come in with the run-up you've measured, your foot, your foot going into the ball should be perfect. As you come in, you have your left, your, your landed foot in line with the post. Hopefully to like a, a degree where you can kind of open your hips up a little bit more. Keep your contact, remember your eyes on the contact point where you want to hit the ball. As you hit it, you should come through, your shoulders should face where you want to hit, and your body weight's going exactly where you want towards the, towards the post. I'll just try and give you a demonstration now, and hopefully it won't go too wrong.
I got that one over.